Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the iCarsoft VOL version 3.0, which is an advanced programming tool and code reader scan tool diagnostic package for Volvo and Saab vehicles. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at 21 questions and answers about this tool or everything that you need to know before you buy this tool. A quick word of warning though, guys, there are fakes, there are clones on the market. So if you are interested in picking up this tool, please use the links in the description below this video because fakes and clones can damage your vehicle. So if you want to make sure you get a genuine, use the, the links in the description below the video. So what we'll do first is we'll take a look at what's inside the box and then we'll get into the vehicle and take a closer look at the screens of the tool. So this is exactly what you can expect to find in the box. This is the presentation box as you saw earlier. This is a carry pouch which uh, allows you to keep everything here inside this pouch and maybe keep it inside the glove box or the boot of your vehicle at all times. It comes with a really handy user manual which gives you basic information on how to use the tool. Uh, this is a data cable so one end of this cable runs between the bottom of the tool. This end goes into a laptop or PC and allows you to update uh, the software on the tool and this is the data link connector. So one end of this cable goes into the vehicle, this end here. This end goes into the top of the tool which I'll show you in one second. So the tool itself, this is where the data cable goes, one end goes in there. Um, this is where the, the one of the update cable goes, so one end in there, other end in the laptop or computer. And this is the SD card for which the software is loaded onto. But everything will be pre-loaded for you, so you can just basically take it out of the box and pull, plug it straight into your vehicle and allow you to start diagnosing. It's not a touch screen, it does have dome keys on the side which you do need to use in order to operate through the menu system into the vehicle now we are plugged into the diagnostic port which in this vehicle is just down here so one end of the cable is in there the other end of the cable runs into the top of the tool and as you can see everything is now illuminated and this is the main menu screen so what is the VOL version 3.0 it's a multi-system um, vehicle package for Volvo and Saab vehicles and it allow you to do all systems uh, like engines airbags ABS service resets and basically allows you it puts the power into your hands uh, to allow you to carry out functions and resets in your own time on your own driveway outside your own house instead of taking it to the garage basically uh, so how much is it to buy well currently it is 169 pounds uh, the prices can go up or down depending on the market but currently it's 169 but don't be surprised if you see a different price when clicking the link um, when it comes to clicking the link as I mentioned earlier use the links in the description below because that's where you'll find the genuine and official product and that's where you can buy the tool so is it wireless or is it um, do you need to use the connection to actually um, connect to the vehicle you do need to use the wire it's not like a Bluetooth system or anything like that uh, the tool takes its power simply by plugging it into the vehicle so you plug it into the vehicle and it takes its power from the battery of the vehicle okay um, so because we, we do get a, que a few questions on does it does it have an internal battery does it need to be charged etc it doesn't need to be charged simply plug it in and it'll, it'll light up and start working so which systems are covered well as I mentioned earlier it covers sort of all systems which are installed to your vehicle so as an example I'm going to show you here we're going to click onto the Volvo and we're in a Volvo C30 right now so I'm going to show you the systems that the type of systems that it will cover now depending on which vehicle you hook it up to will depend on what what you see on this particular screen so we're in a 2000 and I think it's a, is it a 2007 or 2008 I think it's a 2008 so I'll click 2008 if I get a link error it might be different it might be 2007 um, so we'll just click OK to that so we'll go to control unit and then these are the systems that I can potentially uh, connect to. So the main ones you see here is the engine system, a transmission, ABS system, the airbag system will be shown somewhere a bit further down as well. We come to that, but it shows you a lot of different systems that it can potentially. There we go, SRS, supplemental inflatable restraint system. But these are the systems that it can connect to. Well, basically any system that is in your installed into your vehicle, this will get a connection with and allow you to uh, diagnose that system. Um, what about this? Uh, well, actually, well, I'll come to special functions and service functions in a moment uh, because one of the questions that we commonly get is what type of information does it give 
when you uh, when you find a fault. So um, it does give manufacturer specific fault codes. It doesn't just, just just give generic fault codes. So as an example, we've got the SRS warning light, uh, SRS airbag service urgent message here, and the airbag light right there. So we're going to go and diagnose this. See if we can get a reset with this tool. Just as an example of what you'll see on screen when diagnosing and resetting a fault. So we go to read fault code and we've got SRS0091 so that's a specific fault code to Volvo and then it's got uh, driver's seat belt buckle current outside the permitted range and then we've got SRS 005B front right hand side impact protection sips bag resistance too high so we had found the uh, the loose connection underneath the driver's seat so we pop that back together but it just it, just because you pop it back together doesn't mean it'll reset everything you do need to use this tool to go ahead and reset everything so simple as clicking on fault memory now when I click on this just keep an eye on the airbag light and the message right here so click that click OK Raising fault codes on screen and then we've still got the fault codes there so click onto that what kind of sometimes happens is you need to either exit out or completely start the engine start and stop the engine which it looks like we're needing to do in this particular case so oh no it's gone out there just takes a few seconds at times all right so that's fine the airbag light has gone out uh, we're now presented with a different fault but that's that's an entirely different story uh, just need to put a bit up a new bulb in there okay so what about the special functions and the service functions so we click onto the service menu and we go to oil reset we've got oil reset electronic parking brake new battery registration electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF regeneration, ABS brake bleeding, injector coding, TPMS, reset suspension, headlamp, fuel pump and engine aisle. So these are the special functions like the calibrations, uh, resets or uh, programming that you can do for those specific components within that particular um, section. So that is quite a good tool, a good function to have because a lot of the other tools they don't have service functions like that built into them. Uh, so that's why this is such a, this is why this tool goes over and above, for example, the 1.0 and the and the 2.0. Uh, does it give live data? It does give live data. So as an example, we'll just go back in and get some live data. Vehicle select. Sometimes you've got to go through the rigmarole every time. So we'll go control unit, and we just want to get access to the uh, the engine control unit. Oh, wrong one, diesel engine. So on this one, we've got a few fault codes, which we do need to start looking at. But that's again, that's for a different time. Uh, we can go to view data. So this will give us like the the live data. So you can select whatever you want to. So you can go to coolant te se temperature sensor, intake manifold. Uh, let's say you want to also go mass airflow sensor. You click F1, and then it gives you specific live data for any of these, uh, anything that you select. So just as an example, you get live data from any section, but this is like for the engine system on this particular car. Um, you can do actuation tests as well, so you can do tests, I like uh, these are like bi-directional tests for different systems. Um, so that's quite a good, a good uh, thing to have. So that's the live data, I mean it's a touch screen, it's not touch screen, you do need to use the, set, the buttons on the side here. Um, how much are the updates for this tool? The good thing about this tool is that if you if you wanted to update the tool, because updates come out every couple of months, but the updates for this are free for life. Um, some tools you will they will charge you for updates, sometimes up to 130 pounds a year, but you're guaranteed free updates for life with this tool, so you'll never need to worry about that. Uh, updating is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you plug a cable, one end in there, the other end in your PC or laptop, and it'll go through the update process. But there is, like I say, in the instruction booklet, there is full instructions on how to do that as well. Um, how does it compare to the tools I mentioned earlier, like the Vision 1.0, the Vision 2.0? Uh, well, it is way more advanced because this, as, as you saw, it does like actuation tests. It does bi-directional tests, component testing. Um, 
the one the one point oh for example will only allow you to do this particular section here and then the oil service from this section the version 2.0 will allow you to do this section and a few from this section but the version 3.0 will allow you to do like a lot more in this section so if you really want to want the tool to um, if you don't really want to give the car to a garage at all and, and try and do as much work as possible um, then you probably will use this because you'll be doing your oil service resets you'll be changing the brakes so you'll need to say for example open and close the calibers for the EPB um, if you've got a, a, a start stop vehicle then you'll need to register a new battery every time you put one in um, and the list goes on there are a lot of service functions that you can do so this really does it is more expensive than the 1.0 and the 2.0 but uh, it really does pack a, a more powerful punch if that makes sense uh, help and support, well you just need to contact uh, Di maybe Diagnostic World, if you bought it from Diagnostic World you can contact them for help and support, they can only give help and support for tools that they've sold because they know that their tools are genuine and official. Uh, can it print faults? It can print faults. It's a bit of a long-winded way around it. Uh, what you need to do is you need to go and uh, you need to start recording the data as you get the faults, and then it'll record the data onto the SD card, and then it'll put, you take the SD card out, put it into a PC or laptop. So it's quite a long-winded way of printing the fault reports. I wouldn't say it's user-friendly in that um, you could instantly get a report printed off and give it to a customer, for example. It, it's not that it's not set up for that kind of environment unfortunately it's really for for your own use and you know not like a garage environment um, languages yeah it does languages as well we've got languages these are the five languages which are on here but when you plug it into your laptop or PC and, and go through the update procedure I believe you can add more languages as well so that's just the languages which are installed to the tool um, we have seen the box with instructions and the user manual and everything that it comes with. Uh, a question We get a question quite often is, I've never used a diagnostic tool before, um, would this be easy to use for a complete beginner or a novice? And I would say absolutely yes. You've seen as I've been going through here, you know, it, it's very easy to use. You can't really, well you can't do any damage at all to the vehicle. Um, it's so simple to navigate your way through the menus and you know, you know exactly what to press at every time. Uh, so yeah, I would say absolutely it is uh, a really, really useful tool for anybody to own um, and very easy to use as well. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm rambling here. What about other menu systems? Uh, it's a, one thing that you probably need to look at as well. So uh, we've covered that, we've covered that. We go to voltage. This just gives you uh, current battery voltage and the minimum and the maximum from this particular test. So it's like live data. You can see that fluctuating quite a lot there. Well, these are the current uh, voltages. The ma minimum and the maximum, see there's not much between them. Um, the OBD2 and EOBD, this one allows you to diagnose other vehicles as well, but only for the engine system. So, uh, whereas for Volvo and Saab, you can cover all systems, engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, power steering, whatever you need to. This tool, you can hook it up to another vehicle, say you've got a BMW or a Mercedes or a Ford, and it'll allow you to diagnose engine-only faults. Um, this is where you can review the data that you've recorded. This is where you can look up faults. So say for example, you wanted to find the meaning of a particular fault code. This is gonna give us like a, um, a cylinder fault, cylinder form misfire. So it tells you the description of a fault if you need to double check anything, but that is for generic faults only. Uh, setup, we touched on this before. We've got languages, unit of measure. You can turn the beeper on and off every time you uh, press a button. This is where you log, so you can you can record the data, and then you go back to that review screen screen to review what you've recorded, and then you can clear the data and do a factory reset as well. Uh, help is just basic. Uh, what is OBD, and just gives you basic information on uh, sort of general diagnostics and how it works. And then the final one is about, and this gives you the specific serial numbers and versions that are installed onto this specific tool itself. So that is, in a nutshell, the iCarsoft VOL version 3.0. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier though, if you are interested in getting this tool, please do use the links in the description below this video because that will take you to the genuine and official product. There are fakes, there are clones, and they can damage your vehicle. I've seen it with my own eyes. Uh, so please um, 
give the video a like if you if, if you've enjoyed it or you've taken something out of it I hope it has given you indication as to whether this tool is going to be suitable for your needs or not um, in the link in the description as well it also gives you full vehicle coverage so it'll show you which tools uh, which systems on which uh, vehicles this particular tool covers as well okay thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video